You know, I'm starting to think you care more about money than you do about saving the Earth. That's ridiculous. I totally care about the Earth. I also care about the Russian businessman who lives on the Earth and happens to need your kidney. My what? <gasps> Are you guys going to take long? Of course not. Now we must take organs while fresh. <laughs> Hey, sleepyhead. <gasps> so, 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 so cold. Yeah, about that. I had a slight miscommunication with these guys. I thought they were just taking a kidney, but they wanted everything. Heart, lungs, even your doodad, which the one guy wanted for a necklace. What? But I couldn't let them do it. Oh, thank God. Petey, I may have been using your dumb infatuation with the Earth to get important things like money, and I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. In the end, you stuck up for your little brother, which warms my frozen heart. Your heart could have got me 10 grand, but I'm glad it's still inside you. Ah! You're freezing, you little freak! You're trying to kill me! I still don't get why I'm tied up. I'm gonna teach you the most important part of being Canadian. You need to suppress your innate American urge for self-preservation and apologize to me. For what? Ow, you mother! It's the Canadian way. I wrong you, you say sorry to me. Ow! Ow! You're grounded. What are you doing? I'm using aversion therapy to turn pop Canadian. Thanks oh. for grounding me last week. Thanks for taking away my makeup. Thanks oh. for not letting me date a black guy. It wasn't racial. He was 40 years old. Oh! <sighs> Thanks, Petey. I feel a lot better. Sorry. Sorry. Really f***ing sorry. I believe we've made a breakthrough. Yes, you can. Just pretend the other team's a bunch of crazy broads at a shoe sale. Now get in there and take what's yours. How'd I do? Not bad. Next time, don't hold back. Tastes like... Thank you. I never understand what's going on at these talk fights, but we won, right? Somehow, even though I pulled that argument out of my butt, they don't seem to care what I say. Your face is doing all the work for you. That's ridiculous. People aren't that shallow. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> I just kind of got lost in your eyes. <sighs> Teresa, snap out of it! Okay, if you insist. Insist! I meant insist! Um, ew? So this is make-out point, Regina style. Let's begin. <clears throat> so, what did you want to talk to me about, Petey? You look so serious. I brought you here so I can officially dump you! Um, did we land on a name? You are dumping me, Anastasia Champagne Superstar? Oh, Christ, we did. You sleep with my mother, you kill my father, kick my dog and steal our family fortune, leaving us homeless and prostitute. Destitute! Okay, good texture, but roll it back a little. Yes, I am dumping you, Anastasia! <gasps> <gasps> what the <gasps> hell? Where did you get that? The garage. Where else? I won't live without you! None of this is in the script. I'm an artist. I improvised. Yeah. On second thought, if I can't have you, no one will! Teresa! Would you stop? Did he say Teresa? <gasps> oh my god! That's Teresa McDougal! Ugh. Uh, Petey's dating his own sister! Huh? <gasps> that is so gross! F***ing inbred Scottish weirdos! 